Before firearms were fully developed, Wusu could kill and was dangerous. In ancient time, when master taught Wusu, they really had to study their students. And sometimes they spend a long time to watch them. And then come to a conclusion and make the decision to teach or not. A lot of time is wasted. So the master only teach the form to the student, not in practice. But just don't show the usage. Once they find out the student is reliable, no problem, at that time, point out that the usage is like so, what is defensive, what is uh, attacking. Times are changed. Not only do we have guns and cannons, we also have atomic bombs and missiles to satisfy the needs of the battlefield. Nowadays, people usually practice martial art for health exercise. But if you want a good exercise, you have to do the good movement. And if you want to do the movement good, you must know the usage. That's why we are emphasizing the usage. Because this is a traditional form, since ancient time, all masters set up the way to protect their secret. Sometimes their movements were incomplete, intentionally so. Some of the movements changed angle or even direction intentionally. These will safeguards to prevent dangerous, bad natural people from learning the real usage by watching or practicing. In ancient time, I think this was necessary. And now we are going to show some usage to see this kind of uh, usage hidden in the form and to learn what the real usage is. Here is a punch coming toward me, assuming it's to my heart level area. The first thing I want to do is use my hand to reduce its speed and change its direction. At the same time, also I want to control his arm. So not only do I stick with it, I want to turn around and control his elbow. If I made a mistake too short, and I may pushing his arm back, actually, I'm helping him to use his elbow. If I block successfully, I can control the elbow, so I could try to step forward and destroy his foundation. The way to do it is place my foot between his two legs and penetrate. When I do so, because I step in, my side really pushes his butt. He had to raise his body weight, and he also raised his cheek, so I can use my elbow to attack his rib area. If this is still not enough to cause big damage, then I will use my palm to strike his chest or face. The whole woman she looks like so. This attack is delivered toward me at the chest level. I use my hand to block, and also I want to control his arm. So when I make sure I'm safe, I still want to stick with his arm and twist around. But at the same time, my front area is totally opened up. So the second attack comes in. 
and then I have to use my other hand employing the same technique. But my first hand is not going to stop its sticking and circling moment. Hopefully, I can fold both his arms together. Again, looks like I have a better good control. But this time, also giving him the opportunity, if his level is high, he will use both arms, whole body, and back heel to push me away. Such as so. So, when this kind of situation occurs, we have to twist our body like so to transfer his pushing power sideways and keep his form pushing on my body. And I'm not going to stop this moment. After I'm safe, I'm going to raise his level upward and backward meaning deliver it to him. If I still feel I can totally destroy him, then I will use my leg first to control his leg and second to destroy his foundation, and then with my hands to destroy him. <laughs> 